Hi viewers, in today's video tutorial, I am going to show you some tips about charts. If you want to have a chart with such type of shape, the usual shapes of charts are like this. So in this video, I am going to share with you how you can reshape the different shapes that are in the charts and how you can apply conditional formatting to your chart. For example, if you want that here, I have this chart, but whichever number is the highest, so that bar should be of a different color. So we will discuss these things and some other tips about charts editing. So first of all, let me show you how you can change the shape of a chart. That is very simple. This, this is the chart, whichever shape you want. So the basic example is go to insert here in the shapes, select a shape that you want from here, whichever shape you want. You want arrows, you want rectangles, you want these um, capsule type shapes. So select a shape. For example, here I have used this rectangle shape. So first I will select that rectangle shape. Just draw it like that. Give it a, a color that you want. For example, here I wanted this type of color. So apply that color. Remove the outlines. Now just adjust these uh, corners, whichever shape you want. So adjust them. The next thing is copy. Copy this shape, control C and select the bar in your chart and press Control V. So here you see all those shapes. Now this one I have developed a conditional formatting so I will show you how this will work. Uh, give it the color that you want. For example for the highest one I want a green. So copy. First change the color. Copy. Select that bar. Paste. So here you see now you have that type of shapes. Now whichever shape are available here you can select that relevant shape draw it for example this one draw it and then control C select your bars control V you see all those shapes have been changed with if you want a shape a picture that is available with you in the computer or any other in the icons from icons etc so that you can do then select bars go to shape format shape fill picture if you want to add a picture from a file stock image online whichever you want in this data whenever a number is changed for example now the fib is 700 the highest one if april is 800 so now this will go to April and that would be the green one and the highest one. So it's a dynamic how you can develop this type of chart. So for this, let's do it from the start. When you want to have a chart with conditional formatting chart that whenever a specific number is the highest one, so that bar should be of different color. Here you need to add max another series that is the maximum series is equal to the formula if small bracket this is equal to max small bracket maximum of this range and lock this range because you will go down close the bracket if this is equal to the maximum of this series so comma value f true value should be this the same one click that otherwise it should be blank or you can say zero close bracket now here you see it's blank because this is not the highest one now when i drag it below so you will see the highest one has the numbers while the others are empty now what i will do i will select this area go to insert or i can do it with both of them also but i want to show you another uh, tip also that is important so first i will select only these two go to recommend chart here i selected the bar one okay 
Now here I have this. Now I will add this data series also. As I shared with you, you can select both of these and develop a chart. But if you haven't done that and you have a chart on this data, so how you can add another column? So that is, I wanted to show you that also. So here, right click, select data. Here I want to add another series, add. And that series is this one. The name is this maximum. In the series values, remove this and select this range. Okay. Okay. Now you see here, you have two bars because there is the data. While the others have only one bar because those are zero, blank. Now I want to bring this bar above this one. So for that, double click and here you will see this format data point. So this series overlap is minus 27. I will change it to 100%. And now you see it's that series is basically now above the previous series. Now all the other bars are also above this one, but there is nothing nil. So that's why those are not visible. Now here, you can then hide this column. Now if you hide a column, that is part of a chart. So when you hide such column, so here you cannot see the bar also. So for that, if you want that my hidden columns or hidden rows should also be visible in the chart. For that you need to uh, right click inside the chart, go to select data. And here in the select data, hidden and empty cell click. And here says show data in hidden rows and column. Click that. Okay. So now that hidden row is also visible. Now what you have to do, give a color to these bars. So the color of these bars I want, for example, be like this. And now click outside and then click only this bar so that that data is selected only the second series. Go to shape fill and from here, for example, I selected the green. Click this chart, go to chart design, charts elements and from here data label, add the data label to the outside end. When you add this date, these data label, so the previous series will also be visible. So just click any one of them and delete. That series will not be visible. Now here, if there is any change, for example, the my, in my, the updated data is 1000. So currently it's in April, the highest 800. Now when I enter the 1000, so now you will see, the green bar is and that is the highest one. That column is already hidden. So you can see here. Whenever a change occurs, so this cell goes up to that cell and then you can. So you can use this if function with maximum for different purposes also. And it was a simple formula. If this cell is equal to the maximum of the range of these cells. So put this cell, the same information of this cell, otherwise blank. Now to apply a shape so that I already shared with you, just go to insert whichever shape you like. Here are some beautiful shapes. For example, this one, the flow chart D11. Just drag it here. Now change its direction. For example, like this. Drag it. Give it a proper color that you want for your chart. Remove the outlines, copy, select the bars and paste it. So there you see. Now I want this on this one also. Click, go to shape format, give it the same color, copy, select this one only, paste. Now you see you have that type of chart available. If you want to uh, have a picture inside these shapes, not this one. You can do that with the picture also and that was simply as I told you that just select the bars, go to format, shape fill, here in the picture 
you can add any sort of picture from your computer or from the stock images or from the icons so this was about the the dynamic conditional formatting chart now whenever a, a, there is a maximum thing so only that bar would be uh, would have a specific color and uh, the highest one now um, and reshaping the charts element also we discussed i hope you like the video i will come up with some more details on the charts also very soon thank you so much for watching keep learning like subscribe and comment thank you if you visit my channel if you want to learn microsoft excel powerpoint access ms word and mail merge then other tricks of the microsoft excel and other softwares other learning tips how to prepare yourself for interviews these other playlist of learning online data collection kobo ms form google form for collecting online data data analytic project management series is there is a playlist for ms excel beginners also windows and all these playlists single playlists are also available so you can uh, benefit from all these sessions which are free of cost and you just open it and watch them and learn and improve your productivity there are these uh, beautifully designed uh, powerpoint presentations how to make these powerpoint presentation and every video has a detailed step by step tutorial so visit my channel subscribe like and share and comment comment is very important for me because if you comment a video so i can improve these videos more whatever question you have so you can ask and uh, this will be good for the channel also and uh, learn and improve your product thank you